Hey YouTube, today I'm going to start a new series. It's going to be um, batch scripting. So, um, you can do a, quite a bit of things with batch scripting. It's not a good programming language. It's not a programming language, actually. It's a scripting language. Um, if you can't do stuff that you could do with Java, you're not going to make the next Minecraft with it. But you can make little things like uh, guess my number or a little like, RPG, choose your own story sort of thing if you're willing to invest the time into it. And also it's a good thing, or a good alternative to um, entertainment if you're ever at a sleepover or something and they have an old Windows 97, it doesn't have internet access or anything, or a Windows anything, and load it up, make a little game and keep yourself entertained. So um, first thing you need to do, script Windows batch, is open up Notepad. And uh, if you don't know how to, there's a bunch of different ways. Literally, regularly, do it without with making as much logic as possible. You could um do ammo equals ammo plus one, and that would equal whatever the ammunition is plus one. Of course, when you're in Java, you can just do ammo plus equals one, but. Yeah, but that's just an example of how it sometimes can make absolutely no sense. How the order of it. I mean, think about that in mathematical terms. I mean, I guess it would sort of make sense, but it have to be in parentheses and stuff. And it doesn't really have to, you know, scripting. So, um, I guess that'll be all for this episode. Because, um, I don't want it to run too long. Because it'll take forever to upload, especially with that montage of the notepad opening in the beginning. And, um, just saying, if you really don't know how to open notepad after that carefully planned montage, which took me like an hour to, yes, it took me literally an hour to find the music for that. I actually already have it edited by the time I'm doing this video. It's already all set up in, um, the editor. But, um, in case you really don't know how to actually use an open notepad, you can just look it up online, or like search it in here, or open up Run, which is the Windows button in R, and type in Notepad. You know, you should you should just look it up if anything, or open up Command Prompt and then just start. Oh, this is another command, Command Prompt. I mean, I guess we could do this now because you kind of already saw it in the montage. There's a command called Start, and this is getting more advanced into it. But you can start specific programs. So if I want to do Notepad.exe. Um, this is going to be really hard to explain. Um, I don't know if I'll do it in this video. Um, actually, I'll do it in the next video why this works. This will be like the beginning thing. So, um, pretty much at that point, I just rambled on for like two and a half minutes. So, um, at the end, I finally decided that that was probably enough and I ended the video. So, I just cut all that out, including the ending part. So, I'm just going to say it. Um, thanks for watching. Like if you like the video, dislike if you didn't like it, you're entitled to your opinion, and um, subscribe if you want more stuff. See you in the next video.